Whitby. I'm a professor here at the Australian National University and I'm part of a centre for translational photosynthesis. So what the, my academic career has been about is actually engineering enzymes. So we want to understand their function, how they work and how to actually improve them. So how do we tweak them? But before we do that, obviously we need to know, understand how enzymes are put together and how they have their substrate specificity. So look, listen and learn. Proteins in nature are made up of 20 different types of amino acids and the nature of the protein is dependent on the order in which you have those uh, amino acids. So every amino acid has a similar core structure. It all starts with an uh, alpha carbon which has a hydrogen bound. On one side it has an amino group and on the other it has a carboxyl group. Now how amino acids differ is in the side chain. So the size, the shape, and the charge of this side change is what distinguishes all the amino acids from each other. Now, to actually take an amino acid and join it to another to start forming what we call a peptide, or a polypeptide, is this occurs by the formation of a peptide bond, where we see the amino group of one amino acid joins to the carboxyl group of the other, and during this process, we get water is released. So that means this is called a condensation reaction or otherwise known as a dehydration synthesis due to the loss of water. So as we grow the peptide chain by continually adding different amino acids, we form these polypeptides. And these polypeptides are what forms the backbone of proteins. And as we show here, we can simply show this as linkages. Okay, so here we have our arrangement of all our amino acids which we want to join together to uh, form a protein. So we do that, as we just talked about, by forming peptide bonds. So we make these structures which are um, the polypeptides. Now these polypeptides, what they can do is they can fold and form bonds between these side chains from the different amino acids such that we go from having a primary structure into having a secondary structure. So no longer is it a linear molecule. And in reality, what proteins are is actually a quaternary structure such that um, they actually form a three-dimensional shape. So if we can imagine that this is a folded protein. Now, of course, in nature, the enzymes, which are just proteins which uh, form biological functions, actually can comprise multiple subunits. So for the enzyme to be functional, we need to assemble these, uh, these subunits. So as we can imagine here, here's an enzyme which isn't quite right. And so it's actually quite unstable. It can't actually do its function and falls apart. But once an enzyme forms, so here we've got an enzyme which is uh, made up of multiple subunits. We've got uh, nine subunits on the top, the bottom, and eight around the middle. And so now we actually have a functional enzyme which can do its job thing to realise is that proteins, depending on how many uh, enzymes, depending on how many proteins they uh, um, form together, dictates their size, and some enzymes actually comprise multiple um, components, and this is where they form a quaternary structure.